Hello guys, welcome back to Always Mabel Canada's YouTube channel. So today's video, I am going to upgrade my Galaxy Watch to this uh, Galaxy Watch Ultra. I have this uh, Galaxy Watch for LTE and now I'm going to move to Galaxy Watch Ultra. This is Galaxy Watch LTE, this is Galaxy Watch LTE. So the purpose of this video is to give you idea on how to upgrade from Galaxy Watch LTE from my old uh, Galaxy Watch 4 LTE to Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra LTE as well without affecting your mobile plan. That's the reason why. You're going to wonder if you're going to upgrade to Galaxy Watch Ultra, is it going to affect my mobile plan? So this is how am I going to do this. Without getting your mobile plan affected, it will be the same on how much you're paying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade to Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. This is my old uh, Galaxy Watch 4. What I'm going to do is before you turn this thing on, uh, let's see. Uh, but, but before that, let's uh, open this box. This is the 47 millimeter LTE watch. So what's in the box is the this watch here. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And then the wristband. So this is the wristband, the charger. This is where you're going to to charge your phone like this here. Look, it, there's a magnet. Anyway, before you turn this thing on, this uh, new watch, you have to reset your old Galaxy Watch first. So this is the Galaxy Watch LTE. This is the Galaxy Watch LTE. So this is a Galaxy Watch Ultra LTE. So anyway, I am going to reset this watch first. Before you turn this uh, new watch on, you have to reset your old Galaxy Watch LTE first. So let's go to the general. And then you will see this here, the reset. Okay, we will reset this. Okay, before resetting, be sure to reset all your mobile plans if you don't want them available after you reset your watch. For example, if you're selling your watch, remove all your remove all mobile plans. Okay, okay. If your watch is connected to your phone, your watch that data will be backed up to your phone before resetting. Okay, let's reset. It will take a while when it's backing up. Watch data. So uh, let's wait. Now it's resetting after backing up. Okay, it says here welcome. So now it's going to this is the galaxy watch 4 so right now i'm going to turn this thing off yeah it's powering off now so now it's reset and now i'm going to uh, set this new watch so i'm going to turn this on there So while it's turning on, I have to put this first. Yeah. You'll see a pop-up on your phone to help you connect if you don't see. Try connecting. Okay, so it pops up here. A new device has been found. So let's connect. Confirm. So there's a number here, so let's uh, connect the phone. Downloading software, check your phone to complete the setup. So your phone will use Galaxy Watch 7, manager 159 MB to connect your watch. 
Okay, see permission for Galaxy wearable and how they're used. Samsung end user license, license agreement. Galaxy wearable privacy notice sending the diagnostic data optional. So I'm not gonna send my that thing. Okay, continue. So allow Galaxy Watch 7 manager to access Galaxy Watch Ultra. Okay, I will allow them all. Okay, allow. Allow Galaxy Watch 7 manager to send notification. So let's, uh, it's getting ready to connect. So we're just gonna wait until it says here, uh, this might take a few minutes. Okay, so continue. Okay, there. So it's signing in now. Okay, usage diagnostic report location. Uh, help you prepare OS automatic sending diagnostic. I'm not gonna click that. Okay, so just the location and then agree. Okay, so now uh, installed on your devices. So recommended watches if apps will install when your watch is charging and connected to Wi-Fi continue and then automatic watch backup watch data and files will be backed up periodically when watch yeah I want that checking for smart switch so smart switch on watch uses this permission call logs okay so allow so yeah restore backup so i'm gonna store so choose backup from the list below to set this watch as a new backup so i i backed it up a while ago after resetting my galaxy watch 4 my old uh, galaxy watch lte so now i click this and then i will restore the setting and the, the plan on my mobile plan to from this uh, back up here to my new watch so click restore not a set up as a new watch but a restore so I'm gonna restore restoring your watch it says here so apps and permission music images setting home screen restoring alarm watch faces and everything it's now restoring here okay now it's uh, restored the data restored all check here next so set up mobile plan to call text or go online so set up mobile plan to call text and go online from your watch when your phone's not to not with you to start setting up mobile plan for your watch device for information imei sim card into model name of your mobile device and watch will be transmitted to the mobile phone network operator okay please read your mobile network operators privacy okay okay next okay manage smart watches on your wireless account I want to replace an existing watch so here each smartwatch requires a smartwatch plan to connect to the Bell network so what's asking here is I want to add a new watch to smartwatch or I want to replace an ex existing smartwatch so I click I want to replace an existing smartwatch which device would you like to replace okay I click that and then continue click continue enter your my bell username and password so i have to do this and now i click continue okay monthly charges no charges one time eSIM charge ten dollars applicable taxes will be charged on bill okay submit okay processing activation okay your smartwatch is now activated on the bell network so i click okay 
there's a note here in order for you to send and receive text messages or emails from your smartwatch your smartphone must be powered on signed into your smartwatch app account and connected to the belt network voice calling and most apps will still function as normal on your smartwatch even when your smartphone smartphone is powered off so click done so finding out more about your plans set up your belt plan on your watch use plan setting up mobile plan okay it's finishing up uh, now belt plan set up successfully now you can call text and go online from your watch even when your phone is not with you okay next finishing up this may take a few minutes so tips and uh, user guides while you're waiting take a moment to get similar so now uh, it says here you're all set okay so now it's set it's charging but I'm gonna remove this charger and then I'm gonna wear this okay anyway guys uh, let me uh, disconnect this first and let me show you the LTE there there's the LTE there now okay let me try to call okay this home nobody will answer on this but uh, I'll just I will just show you it's disconnected from this here now yeah you see it's ringing Okay, so this when it's connect disconnected from Bluetooth or Wi-Fi on the phone, you can use this. So anyway, guys, this is how you set up your new Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra LTE from your old Galaxy Watch LTE, just like my uh, Galaxy Watch 4 LTE. You don't need to worry if that will affect your mobile plan. All the instructions are here. So, but before you set up your new Galaxy Watch Ultra 7 LTE, you have to reset your old watch first so that it will not get confused. Now, my Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra is now all set. I can use it. I can even leave my phone when I'm biking and I can use my Galaxy Watch Ultra 7 LTE. So I hope you like this uh, video guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe on this channel. Hit the like button if you like this tutorial and click the notification bell so that you will always be notified every time we upload our latest video. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.